Good morning. Let's talk heaters. I'm about to show you some options that use low wattage for whatever you live in. It is for tiny spaces, so let me show you. So the first thing I'm going to talk about as far as heaters goes, this was one of the first I bought because I love the old time oil heaters. They stay warm for a long period of time. As you can see, it uses 712 watts per hour. So it is does use a lot of wattage. This does keep my van warm. It does take a while for it to warm up. Uh-oh, here's Marley. Now here's my second and one. And there's Marley. This is a chicken heater or brooder. Okay, you can hang this up on the wall and it uses very low wattage. Now this is a handy heater. I got it for under $20. It just plugs into your electrical outlet. It does put off a lot of heat. It really does. Uh, but it does use 675 watts per hour. So in a small space it works just fine. It does shut itself off. Well for goodness sake, there we go. <laughs> does shut itself off. Um, I just find it to be just too many watts. But I used it and it works just fine for me as well as the brooder. The brooder takes a long time to heat up. This takes a very short time. As you can see, 675 watts. The last thing I have is a little ceramic heater. It uses 250 watts. It, uh, if it's turned over, it shuts itself off. It's um, really sweet. It's under $20, again, under $20. Um, it just sits there. It's not super dangerous. Again, it shuts itself off. This tells you how many watts it uses. I'm showing you again where to check for your appliances. So this works just fine, but it, you got to have a lot of wattage for it. So 250 watts doesn't seem like a lot, but it is if you're running it for 10 hours at night. Just a little too much. Sorry. There are other options. I started out with a um, heating pad for a medical heating pad it's quite small but I would put it inside my bed and it would heat up my covers it used about well it started out when it heats up about 164 watts that's a lot but then it slows down and uses about an average of 30 watts an hour once it's heated up so it will last most of the night if you have plenty of solar again it's all about how much you have an electricity, solar or a, ge a gas generator, whichever one you have. They also have heated throws and heated blankets. Use a lot more wattage and each one is different so I'm not going to give you the wattage on it but you need to check that out before you buy it. Um, staying under that, he that heated blanket, you just are not moving outside okay you're waiting until it warms up in the house but it's perfect for cold nights now the other thing an absolute necessity to me is a sleeping bag if you have nothing else get the best sleeping bag you can buy for the lowest degrees and that's what you should sleep in at night if you have nothing else or if it gets pretty cold in the house those run around $40. The blankets that I talked about can run any range from $40 to $60 to $100 to $200. It depends on your pocketbook. I buy everything at Walmart because that's the cheapest. Not always. Sometimes I buy at um, Grocery Outlet. I did buy a heating pad at Grocery Outlet. It was 60 inches long and 21 inches wide. And it only used on the low setting 11 watts lasted all night long it was perfect I did not like it too many wires too stiff I like softer things and I just took it back I didn't like it even though it's low wattage I probably could have put it under a soft blanket it, it would work fine it was under twenty dollars put blankets on top of it and then it'll heat those all up and heat your bed up so that is an option for you I have used a mister buddy it's seventy dollars it lasted one year it wouldn't start the next I bought a second one the second year 
it lasted one time and wouldn't start again. And that's just a small Mr. He Buddy. Many people have good luck with them. I did not. I thought it was very expensive to run. It took a lot. And in a small space, it was just a little too much heat. You had to continually turn it on and off. So I choose not to have a Mr. Buddy. However, in a larger area, in a house, you might get a larger Mr. Buddy and be able to fix it when they just have so many problems the filters and yeah they get dirty pretty fast so it, it's something to think about if you're handy and you can deal with it but you don't want it stopping in the middle of the night in minus 40 degree weather so um, it's an option for you in the winter and of course a small wood stove I just don't have room in my van I would have to sacrifice a lot to put a wood stove in here. I really can't afford it. A wood stove is more for really bad winters. I stay in moderate weather in the winter. So minus 19 is about the worst it ever gets for me. And I do just fine. My last and the only thing I use anymore, <clears throat> other than a heating pad, which I run at night, all these things that I've purchased are in storage. I literally use my stove, my one burner stove, with a clay pot on it, and I use it all night, butane or propane, either one will work. It just keeps my van cozy, and at times it's too warm, and I shut it off. It is not exactly cheap, but I do get butane pretty cheaply, and one can will last me on the lowest level all night long. So I ended up doing that. That's the simplest. Uh, it is not that dangerous when you have a clay pot on it. You just make sure it's in the correct area. It's not any more dangerous than a Mr. Buddy. So just to end this video, you have a lot of options depending on your pocketbook, how handy you are, and how big your space is. And that's something you have to choose. If you have a larger space, I really would suggest a wood heater. At least wood is available to you for free. Get it off the trees if you're out. You know, if you're out. If you're in an apartment, different story than you're buying wood. But if you're out on property, there's lots of wood around and it's one of the best options. And even if you buy wood or once a year you can get wood and store it, I think it's better off because you can also cook on it. And it's, it serves two purposes instead of just one. I want to thank you for watching. I hope this has helped someone. And um, I'm trying to give you as much information as I can about winter. Again, I'm in moderate winters. Thank you for subscribing, watching, and sharing. I'll see you next time.